Do you want to know all about tsunamis? In this video from the Daily Eco, we explain what a tsunami is, how it is generated, and what its three major phases are. What are tsunamis? A tsunami or tidal wave is a wave or group of giant waves with great energy generated by sudden movements on the ocean floor. The term tsunami is of Japanese origin and means large wave in a harbor or bay. There have been many of them in history, but the most recent ones were, without a doubt, terrible natural disasters. We are referring to the tsunami that occurred in Sumatra and Sri Lanka in December 2004 and the tsunami that occurred in Japan in March 2011. How tsunamis are formed To explain how tsunamis are generated, we must first consider that the Earth's surface is divided into seven or eight major plates called tectonic plates. These plates move and slide slowly on the soft rock of the Earth mantle which is under the Earth's crust. Sometimes these plates move in different directions and separate, while at other times they come together until they collide. As a result of these movements, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and other phenomena are caused. When these movements occur in the ocean floor, sea quakes can occur and trigger a tsunami. We will now explain the three general phases of a tsunami. But before we continue, let us put you to the test. In which ocean do tsunamis occur more frequently? Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean. Think about it carefully, because at the end of the video you can check if you were right. Phase 1. Tsunami Generation Phase 1 refers to the previous section describing the disturbance of the ocean floor. The height that the waves can reach depend on several factors, such as the strength and duration of the disturbance and the speed or depth of the sea. The Sumatra tsunami was caused by the collapse of the plates, which led to a sudden deformation of the seabed and an uplift of the water, forming a column of 3 meters high. Number 2. Propagation In this phase, the energy created by the disturbance on the seafloor spreads along the coast. At the surface, the tsunami waves moved at high speed, which depends on the depth of the ocean. The deeper you go, the higher the speed. Let us take the Sumatra tsunami again as an example. Since it was generated at a depth of 4,000 meters, its waves reach a speed of 700 kilometers per hour. A characteristic of tsunamis is that, as they approach the coast, the sea becomes shallower and the water recedes, creating a hole in the water column. The waves increase in height and thickness and become giant waves. Phase 3. Run-up. The waves have reached their maximum size, which was 20 meters in the Sumatra tsunami. They reach the coast only to break later and advance inland up to several hundred meters, devastating everything in their path. Tsunami waves can arrive at intervals of several minutes. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it through? The correct answer is C. Tsunamis occur more frequently in the Pacific Ocean due to the seismic and volcanic activity at the tectonic plate boundaries along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Have you ever imagined tsunamis to be created this way? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And see you next time.